Today, we're looking at 10 items what to take when moving to Thailand, Philippines, Laos, Vietnam, and any other Southeast Asian country. So we're going to be looking at this very question by covering 10 essential items what to take when moving to Southeast Asia, other considerations, and finally, we will be discovering some simple but effective tips on moving to Asia. I know just how valuable your time is, so we're going to go through this list very quickly. But for those looking for more information, a link has been added in the description below for each item. And there's also the link where you can see the full article. So here are the items that you may need to take when moving to Asia. Power adapter, compression socks, earplugs, blindfold, sunscreen, money belt, lightweight backpack, suitcase locks, masks, battery packs. Now let's take a look at the next section, which is other considerations that you may need to take into account when moving to Southeast Asia. 1. Health insurance. There are pros and cons to purchasing both local and international insurance. Some expats arrange short-term insurances and once in Southeast Asia obtain long-term insurance. This is because health insurance is often cheaper and more convenient in Southeast Asia, but as mentioned, there are several pros and cons involved. 2. Personal medication. Medication in Southeast Asia can be costly and some specific specific fees and taxes may be included. Therefore, it's commonly recommended to bring your own prescription initially. Free home comforts. When thinking about what to take to Southeast Asia, home comforts are often the last thing on people's minds. If you are planning to move to Southeast Asia, bringing some small but valuable home comforts may not seem like a big deal, but in the long term can be priceless. The fourth area to consider is other forms of identification and important documents. You may decide at some point to obtain a long-term visa, rent a vehicle, or even purchase a property. Through these transactions, identity and necessary documentation may be needed. Therefore, it's often recommended having a small folder of documents that can be called upon. The fifth area is an emergency fund. This is one of the big areas of moving to Asia. You will likely have some form of income or retirement, which is fantastic. But one area to also consider is an emergency fund. If funds are slightly tight, because I know moving to Southeast Asia is not the cheapest, then an emergency fund of $1,000 to $2,000 is often recommended. The last consideration is a VPN. However, VPNs have been under criticism over the last few years as some experts claim they are not as strong as the companies advertise. Nonetheless, if you have some private business matters or financial statements, you wish to keep safe, a VPN might be one consideration to make when moving to Southeast Asia. The next section includes three simple tips to help you start your journey. 1. Focus on the five most important tools for you personally. Today we have covered the essential items to add to your checklist when moving to Southeast Asia, but what I would recommend is creating a list of four or five of the most important tools that are applicable to your own individual lifestyle. 2. Always have a safety net. As you know, just about anything can happen in the modern world, and as mentioned, a small safety net of at least 1,000 US dollars is is recommended, but preferably a few months living expenses is the ideal target. 3. Create an exit plan at the back of your mind. When we think about a plan B, we often think about the worst case scenario because plan A didn't work, but it's not always a negative situation. You may instead be offered a unique experience, an experience that cannot be refused, and thus you may need an exit strategy or a backup plan. 